Hello everyone, this is Patrick and it is time for a special edition of Heavy Therapy. As you can see in the title, this is another underground metal label showcase. This time I want to discuss an amazing package that I picked up from Iron Fortress Records. Iron Fortress Records, it is ran by Septic Fog and it is in the Kansas City, Missouri area of the Midwestern United States. First things first, ironfortressrecords.com is their website. It is well organized, attention to detail, every sort of detail you want to know about what you are picking up is included. So make sure you click on all of the sections on the website. Iron Fortress is a relatively new label and I am showcasing you their releases and the distro side of their website and production as well. First, we are listening to Cellar Fluids. This is the full length album that came out in 2023. I don't have a hard copy of it. This is some Savannah, Georgia based, dark, filthy, brutal death grind slam. You hear it, you like it. And I will be talking about cellar fluids more as we go through this video. Iron Fortress Records, it is ran by uh, Mr. Septic Fog himself. And uh, other metal YouTubers who have been talking about Iron Fortress, maybe Classy Lonnie Metal. I believe he's been picking up stuff from Iron Fortress Records. Metal Miners, Anthony over at Metal Miners himself is into Iron Fortress Records. So let's begin. Um, the packaging, amazing. Again, attention to detail. Let's show you what I picked up. So, killer logo design for Iron Fortress. Are you eating it? Or is it eating? Uh, picked up this cool sticker that is showcasing a series called Tortured Tapes that Iron Fortress has started and is continuing. Speaking of that, cool poster they have for sale on uh, on the website tortured tapes so this is a limited run collectible card and cassette tape series uh, and the back side or however you want to think of it this side has all the tapes that came out 17 tapes and I actually have only managed to pick up one of them I saw this going around earlier in 2023 but it just didn't dawn on me I believe that the label was in, in was in the states I thought it was in somewhere else so sometimes I let those labels go for a while before I dig into them so I missed out on some of the earlier goodies but let's begin so I did pick up the last tortured tape from series one that is I think there's gonna be a series two come out in 2024 so let's talk about this first tape why don't we the tortured tape series are um, all very limited this is this is the band procession with chthonic signals and they are a death doom band from Cleveland Ohio so yeah my edition is number 21 out of 30 I will show you all of the details here there you go Three track demo, 21 out of 30. Sorry that I can't get it to focus. There you go. Again, great attention to detail. You don't always get lyrics when you receive a demo. This is Iron Fortress number 22. And it came with, again, a trading card that tells you what you just were lucky enough to pick up. Artwork is by Dominic Doolin. Uh, came out in December 2023 and again it's out of 
30. So Procession give you sort of this Undergang meets the Pygus meets Autopsy vibe. It's pretty raw and um, straightforward in terms of, again, their, their influences. They wear them on their sleeves. Um, pretty exciting stuff coming out of Cleveland, Ohio. Let me show you the tape aesthetics. Very, I like the very um, just monochromatic, straightforward design. Very well done. Again, attention to detail. Septic Fog over there in Kansas City really cares about the aesthetics, and so do I. So yeah, that was the tape I managed to pick up from the Torture Tape series. And my partner Natalie collects pins, so I picked up the pin as well. Really cool design, really cool aesthetic. Uh, came, uh, he even put the sort of, um, pamphlets and placards and promo in a nice envelope so that they all were not messed up. So I said, Iron Fortress also has a distro side of the website, um, and that is some of the promo that he gave me. They carry a lot of stuff right now, everything from Extremely Rotten to Dark Descent to Misaka Un Oho. Um, cool getting an, un an Undergang flyer. Um, I actually don't really receive a lot of Undergang flyers and that's always really cool to see. Check this out, Cellar Fluids. Uh, I'll show you some more promo as we go along. So. Procession was the only tortured tape that I received, but Iron Fortress, they also do a, um, a uh, bootleg series. And I picked up two tapes from the bootleg series. Bootleg, official bootleg by Iron Fortress. Yes, that is the design of the sticker right there. Really cool stuff. So what do you get here? This is um, Giblet Bug, live in Kyiv. Ukrainian based uh, death grind, death metal death grind band. You get seven tracks, 13 minutes of music here, uh, including an autopsy cover. I like this set. I like it's very raw. I like how it develops. Um, the drummer is really nuts. Um, yeah, just really cool stuff here. And these. Official bootleg tapes are only out of 18. Get yours while you can. I believe this one might be sold out. Check the website. Check the website. Creepy, huh? There's my eyes. Ah. Giblet. Giblet bug. I always pronounce it incorrectly when I'm on camera. Yay. Uh, anyway, this is the first stuff this band has ever put out is a live sort of, yeah, live set. Seven tracks, 13 minutes of music. Extremely raw, extremely fun to see where this band goes um, after this release. Another official bootleg tape that I received from Iron Fortress. We are listening to the full-length album that came out in 2023 that is self-titled. This is... B-Roll Butchery that also came out late last year. Here's the tape. Again, official bootleg series. I like how consistent the packaging is. Attention to detail. Um, again, this is number 14 out of 18. Cellar Fluids, actually for me, Cellar Fluids are probably the most developed band out of these these tapes that I received as far as having their own sound, as far as having potential. Uh, this band is out of Savannah, Georgia, and they play horror-inspired death metal, death grind. Um, they have clips, which is going to be a 
pro or con for your base on your taste, right? A lot of people don't like clips. A lot of people do like clips. I'm hit or miss about them, but I know what I'm getting when I pick up a brutal slam sort of death grind kind of band. I like the guitar work, the little, that kind of stuff. Cool, so yeah, show it one more time. Cellar Fluids, this is B-Roll Butchery, which I take it to be kind of the B-sides from their album sessions, from their studio sessions. Heavy Mutilatred stuff, uh, for fans of Mutilatred is what I'm trying to say there. And those are the two tapes that I got from the official bootleg series that Iron Fortress has and will continue to put out. Uh, we are not done yet by any means. So he also threw this in, Night Terror Zine number two. Really cool interviews from uh, Vacuous Feral Forms and Frozen Screams imprint. So I always like when underground labels highlight other killer underground labels and killer sort of underground horror artist as well. I believe you can pick this up from the website itself. I believe Septic Fog was kind enough to throw this in for me. Again, so Iron Fortress, they put out tapes, they are at distro, they put out zines. Uh, on their website right now they have uh, t-shirts and flags. Check Iron Fortress out. Again, we are still not done. So I picked up three LPs from Iron Fortress as well. And let's start with this really cool pickup. So this is a split between Primal Horde and Scorching Tomb. Sorry for the glare, I will take it out in a second. I'm showing it to you this way on purpose for now. So this is the, this is actually a test press, number four out of 10. And this is a collaboration between Frozen Screams imprint and Iron Fortress Records. So I am now putting up the actual album cover on the screen. So it's really cool that Septic Fog and Johnny Freeze from Frozen Screams put out these test presses and also took care to not to um, have unique cover art, unique packaging for the test press as well so um, it's really cool that they sent this with it too so greetings from Montreal Quebec so these are both of the bands here Primal Horde and Scorching Tomb are from Quebec Canada here is the test press aesthetics Sorry for the glare and the meta going on right now. So, what do you get with Primal Horde? So Primal Horde gives you two tracks, extremely heavy chugging death metal. Uh, I hear Kronos Compulsion, I hear Mortician, and I hear Suffocation. The Scorching Tomb side, you get two tracks, six minutes. I hear Tribal Gaze and on death um, yeah just a really cool opportunity to receive a test press in such a cool unique packaging I'll be keeping my eye on this Montreal Quebec death metal scene um, set of mentums already there I believe just a cool scene out of Canada they always give you really dark death metal uh, there is a test press of this next album I'm showing you currently available still on ironfortressrecords.com. My edition itself is limited, so oh yeah. This is Piss Rot with their self-titled 2023 debut. Piss Rot. Uh, a collaboration release put out by Iron Fortress Records and Night Terror Records. Uh, this came with a whole bunch of cool stuff I will show you while I talk about the music. Piss Rot, death metal from Tennessee, 
you get Arian on guitars and synth and vocals, you get Caden on bass and vocals, and you get Cole on drums. So the variant I received is this bone marrow mer beige color out of 150 copies. And it came with, my edition came with a slip mat for the record player. I've been collecting slip mats as of late. I only have a couple. I don't want like, you know, even more than 10 of them. I only want a handful of them. They're cool, they're cool whenever you're taking kind of photos and they're just cool to have on the record player whenever you're not playing any music. Piss rap, pretty cool looking slip mat. And then these guys look really young, by the way. Piss Rot. So there's their names again. Shout out to Piss Rot. I think the music here, they are a blend of Cannibal Corpse, Seep, Thorn, Crypt Worm, and Fulci. Very stripped down version of all of those bands. I like the riffs. I like how heavy and stupid it, stupid, uh, it is. And um, it also came with the poster of this of the killer artwork. So again, Iron Fortress, when they put out records, they'd go all out on the presentation and the packaging, really caring about this underground scene that we all care about, and I love that a lot. There it is one more time. Piss Rot, self-titled debut, came out in 2023. You get 10 minutes and, 10 tracks, sorry, 30 minutes of music. It's killer, it's heavy. It is just down tune death metal. Some doom influence as well. Some grind in there a little bit, but mostly just mid tempo. Uh, yeah, Crypt Worm meets Cannibal Corpse in Fulci style. Death metal. And then I said, so Piss Rot was actually the first band that uh, Iron Fortress put out to begin with. So that's cool that they really have championed this band all along. As I said, Iron Fortress also has a distro and cool stuff on the distro. And I picked up the latest Cryptworm oozing radioactive vomition. Cryptworm changed their logo. I think I like their first logo better, but this logo is also pretty sick. But nothing compares to that first logo in my opinion, which you're seeing right now. Uh, man, Cripworm, this time, this definitely is a uh, better album than their debut album. I believe they got it, another drummer. Uh, this came out on Misaka Unoho Records. You get six tracks, almost 35 minutes of music. This is just Undergang meets Pharmacist meets Autopsy meets Demolek. Demolek in the vocals for sure. Groovy as hell. Love Cripworm. I can just put this on, I can just put this on all day, uh, love what they do, love how catchy it is, love how stupidly heavy and down tuned it is, killer drum performance, killer vocals, killer riffs, yeah, um, came out late in the year in 2023, some people missed it, but I believe we are all catching up, and we are better off for it. This is my celebration of Iron Fortress records. Be sure to add them to your bookmarks. Be sure to follow them on Instagram. Putting out tons of killer stuff. Limited edition tape series called Torture Tapes will continue. Official bootleg tapes will continue. Uh, yeah, check out their, check out their website. Uh, they also put out horror scores. So shout out to Septic Fog and Iron fortress records thanks for checking out the video see you in the comment section keep supporting underground extreme music and remember to stay heavy bye